Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and quickly I'm going to go through the colors. I've got Liquitex Basics, Turquoise Blue, Thalo Cyanine Blue, Raw Umber, Master's Touch, Master's Touch Warm Gray, Master's Touch Payne's Gray, Deco Art, 24 Karat Gold and Vintage Brass. Rich Espresso and Champagne Gold. So I've got my golds in this cup, these cups. And then what I did is I went through and added a, just a little, maybe like a teaspoon or less of DecoArt White Satin Enamel into the colors. So the metallics are still the same. The Rich Espresso and the, the Champagne Gold are the same. And I left the warm gray the same, but I added the white to the Payne's gray and to the uh, raw umber, so it softened it slightly. Then the uh, turquoise and the phthalo cyanine blue have the white added as well. And I'm going to do a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And I think I'll do a five ounce cup and just maybe try to finish out my paints here. So what I want in the center will come out first. So I think I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to do two layers. I'm going to do half of the Rich Espresso. Half of the turquoise, half of the Payne's gray, half of the champagne gold, half of the raw umber, warm gray, phthalo signing blue. And then I'm going to go through those one more time, just little bits, because there's not enough room to do all of it. I'm going to definitely do the metallics. Finish the metallics out, I think. Maybe just a little bit of the brown. I want a good amount of blue, and I'm going to leave out the warm gray. So I'm going to take the white, this is Artist Loft White, half and half with Deco Arts um, Satin Enamel White. So that will do something in and of itself, hopefully, and within the colors as well, but we're just going to put down a basic white coat. This is a lot of times why you video something, because if you like something or you don't like something, you can't remember it unless you go back and watch what you did. And I do, I've done so many videos or pours that, you know, if I didn't have videos, I wouldn't remember what I did. So I'm going to take this little bit of this vintage brass and 24 karat gold. So that's going to be basically there in the center. And now I'm going to do a tree ring. So I just did a large scale one that was 20 by 20. Now I'm doing a 12 by 12. But I added the Deco Art White Satin Enamel to one, two, three, four, four of my cups that had colors in it. So it softened the colors a bit. And um, we'll see what happens. And there's a full layer of the white underneath. So 
basically just circling around just to get the paint to pretty much cover most of the surface. And then I'm going to tilt it off. So when I added that little bit of white to the Payne's Gray, it makes it almost like a denim blue. So if you ever want to make a denim blue, just add some white to Payne's Gray and you've got yourself a great dusky denim blue. things popping through. We'll see what happens. This area is kind of bland here. I think I'm going to tilt back a little bit to get rid of that corner that's just kind of blah. No silicone is in any of the colors, and this is going to be one of those that it's going to have to turn those lights off there. It's going to have to just sit and see what happens with the white and gold underneath. Kind of wants, I kind of want to. Do something right here, but I don't know. I'm here lately. I've been doing balloon rolls, and I don't know if I want to do that with the white and gold underneath. But then it might be pretty too. But it won't look. It won't be the little dots. It'll be more tubular shapes probably. So I think I'm just going to leave it and let it. Let it grow, let it grow. Instead of letting it go, I'm going to let it grow. Let it grow, let it grow. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video where it says show more on your computer or the down arrow on your mobile device. I will definitely post a dry picture at the end of the video. I always post the dry picture so that you can see the true results. So I will see you on the next video, which will most likely be the rest of these paints. See you next time. Bye-bye.